the other issue is that you know in um, rural India, I mean, unlike urban India where you have a system of most you know your part of years and you know the network of yeah. uh, you know organization which can get uh, waste collected from home and send it for whatever and maybe to a landfill or a yeah. plant or whatever. You know, in, uh, in small town and perhaps rural India, there is no network of such uh, you know people. People don't live in uh, flats, and yeah. so yeah. houses are very distant from each other. And there will be a practical problem of collecting, and it's not all degradable waste. You know, a lot of plastic yeah. around. You know, so it does uh, the uh, uh, your organization have a blueprint for a typical Indian village where it can be collected, processed, yeah. recycled? No, very good question. So there are several blueprints, as you put it, on what we call solid and liquid waste management at a village level. And we're actually pulling them all together and convening a meeting of uh, about 130 district magistrates in Missouri end of June to focus a lot on solid and liquid waste management because we need to have more of these models. And there are different models. So at a decentralized level, as you correctly put it, you don't have networked sanitation, right? You don't have, uh, you don't have densely populated clusters and uh, apartment buildings and so on. So the model has to be different there. But in all cases, <clears throat> one of the things which uh, the Prime Minister has been emphasizing is how do you develop revenue models? Because in the end, to sustain this, you need to create some wealth from waste. And so can we get local operators, and this is happening in, in many states, who can aggregate maybe villages, collect, so there are two parts, there's solid waste, there's liquid waste. Now, if you look at solid waste, there's a lot of plastic generated as well. So can that be collected, uh, aggregated, taken for road construction and so on. Liquid waste, <clears throat> as far as we are concerned, if you want to get a little technical, there are two or three kinds of liquid waste. So there's black water. Black water is toilet water. Now in rural areas, black water is taken care of by twin pit toilets, which is a treatment plant in itself. You know, you have a leach pit, you, you stop one pit, it, it, it gets solidified, it gets dried up, and you can use it as compost. Then you've got gray water. Gray water could be kitchen waste, it could be bathing water waste, and you have storm water, which is water from rains, and some villages have drainage, others don't. So in many places, particularly in Maharashtra, there's a district called Nanded. They've got a thing called magic pits. These are simple soap pits. So kitchen water is not very toxic, and you can actually use that with simple soap pits, with low-cost filters, which can, you can actually even recharge the groundwater with that. So the idea is to how do you disaggregate different kinds of water and different kinds of waste. For waste, it's typically wet and dry and organic and inorganic. So different models are coming up. We need to do more work on, on solid and liquid waste management in the rural and peri-urban areas.